Welcome to round three of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of April 4th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Nicole Eredix. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. We're moms of teens and young adults, and when it comes to parenting, we've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. But we're still waiting for that day when we'll reach the finish line and have no further need to lay down in a dark room with a wet rag over our eyes, worrying about something or other. Wednesday is complaint day here on Parenting Roundabout, and today we are complaining about dinner table etiquette. And really, more than dinner table etiquette, the etiquette we are exporting when our children are at other dinner tables, <laughs> I guess, which of course we should be modeling and studying at home and abiding by faithfully. But you know what? It's the end of the day. We're tired and possibly our table is somewhat informal with that sort of thing. <laughs> possibly there is a fair amount of belching and, you know, putting your hands on the table and eating food with your fingers. And every now and then I go, children, children now put your napkins in your lap, but not very often because it's the end of the day and I'm tired. So the other day, the other day, my husband made a delicious pasta dish with asparagus. And my daughter looked at it on her plate and said, oh, thank gosh, I bought some cheese at the store so I could put some cheese on this. And she ran to the refrigerator and she dumped like half a bag of shredded cheese on it and said, okay, now I can eat it. And I'm like, All right. I have to explain to her that if one day, sweetheart, you have a boyfriend and you go to your boyfriend's mother's house (laughs) and she serves you a delicious pasta dish and you say, do you have some cheese? I got to put some cheese on it. It's so bland. Do you have any (laughs) cheese? You will not have a boyfriend anymore. So um, I, I fear that perhaps I have not now that I have young adults that there's things I should be letting them know that is okay for home, but is not okay for anywhere where you are with other people. Right. Um, Mm -hmm. It really wasn't okay at home either. Cause I thought it was kind of insulting to my husband and I gave her what for, but still, you know, somebody serves you something, you have to eat it. Yeah. Even if it's boring, I'm very sorry. Um, and you know, probably you don't want to be burping and farting at the table if you're in anybody else's house, but mine, um, it's hilarious at home, not so hilarious other places, probably you'll want to watch your language a little bit. And we won't want to be saying the things we say sometimes when pops down the room. But, um, anyway, I wondered if you guys had this situation too. I remember when I was just out of college and I went on my first interview for a job. And I don't remember if I was nervous independently or if my mother made me nervous because they were taking me out to dinner. And it was like, oh my gosh, right? am I going to lose this job because I slurp my water or I spill something or I don't like the thing that's put in front of me or it was like such pressure. So maybe we should be practicing this stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. Or tonight, children, when you're eating your Kraft mac and cheese, imagine that you're at a fancy restaurant <laughs> with somebody you want a job from. <laughs> Yeah, into Mrs. we were Van Ryan quite a lot lately. <laughs> we were at a restaurant recently with both kids, and it was an Indian restaurant. And so, you know, they serve like a bowl of rice for the table, and then each person's whatever they ordered um, came in a bowl. And then you, the idea is, you put some rice on your plate, and then you put some. Right spoon out some of your dish onto your plate with Mm -hmm. with your rice and my child just (laughs) picked up the entire serving dish and started like pouring it onto their plate (laughs) and my husband was horrified and and I was just like (laughs) let's use a spoon, (laughs) (laughs) but you know, maybe we've never been to an Indian restaurant where the food was served that way. Or if we have, it was, you know, in 2019, like, right. So it, it just was like, oh, I uh-huh. guess we we might be a little bit out of practice, uh, at this <laughs> time. So yeah. And the same child at a different restaurant um just speared like a whole carrot you know that that was like eight inches long and started eating it off the fork and we're like <laughs> put that down you need to cut it <laughs> <laughs> see the thing with 
then when you try to get them to practice that at home, it's like, what is your problem? It's right. just us. Right. I can eat it any way I want. If I want to pick up this piece of chicken with my fingers, I'm just going to do it. But well, like, that mm. does make me feel a little better because we don't eat together very often at home. And so I feel like, oh, is that, is that why, you know, this kid no. doesn't have manners? It's because, but you're, it's what, you're reassuring they, me. <laughs> yeah. They do what is logical to them. Well, there's food there. I want it on my plate. Right. I will I'm just going to grab it just or I'm going to pour it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why oh, should dear. I cut this carrot up into pieces? You know, it's just, I could just pick it up and nibble at it. Oh, right. my, my daughter does that. And I'm like, what and this was are a you cooked doing? carrot, by the way. Yes, it was yes. not like. A, a, yeah, no, I know just what you mean. That it's yeah. like a large piece that's too big to put in your mouth. And so right. instead of cutting into a smaller piece, you just lift it to your mouth with your yeah. fork. <laughs> yep. and, uh, take a bite. And Nicole's mother loses her mind. <laughs> you don't you don't well, I don't think you want to hear my commentary on this topic. <laughs> um so I come from a country that is of the British Commonwealth mm-hmm. and um the British are very concerned with their table manners and etiquette and I also have a mother that was raised in a convent, not raised, but she went to boarding school in a convent <laughs> with British nuns. <laughs> so, so just manners. cranked it up to the <laughs> next level. <laughs> yeah. Table manners were a huge issue in our house. And that just kind of filtered down um, to my kids. <laughs> Didn't want to just be a slob just to show her? uh no because <laughs> see the she thing gotcha. is that is that most of canada is the same way like most of the commonwealth countries like if you go to australia canada new zealand there's remnants of british uh you know influence mm-hmm. so um <laughs> Americans might be surprised to know that Canadians <laughs> and Australians and British people think that Americans have horrible table manners. <laughs> Whole other story. <laughs> yeah, um, in your face. I know. Um, so yeah, it's it's just something that was part of raising my kids. Huh. I just we just did it. We it was just like you know using they just please and thank you and all that kind of stuff and that's not to say that they're perfect because they're not mm-hmm. because <laughs> um they just you know they're they have their own ways <laughs> yeah. but um yeah it was it was it was it just was part of our culture and part of my life that that was important and yeah so um and I guess too like with jobs and stuff like I know with my son's girlfriend she um she actually when she got her first professional job with a company she was sent away for a month not sent away but (laughs) she was part of her job the the training was to go away for several weeks and she took um etiquette classes and wow Mm -hmm. yeah because um she was required to do because they didn't trust these Americans to be able yeah And it's an American company, okay? So that's saying a lot. Yeah. Like, that's not, not a bad idea. People. No, it's not a bad idea, to be honest. So, and actually, we, um, it's so funny because even my husband and I, when we were looking at, you know, like with my son and when he was finishing university and stuff, we're like, is there just some kind of like etiquette, business etiquette school that we can send him to? Mm-hmm. Just to <laughs> because like, it's true it's legit like if you're going out and doing business or you know it's important to have some kind of decorum yeah right when you're in in a business situation so yeah so she went away for she went she was in training for almost a month for that stuff Mm -hmm. and um you know how to hold a glass how to shake someone's hand like all that stuff right that um is just Hmm. I guess good manners I don't know yeah um, <laughs> so that was kind of cool like for her I was happy for her that she had that experience yeah. and then um then did she come back and teach your son 
<laughs> I think, or did I he think need she's, it? <laughs> well, I think he, like he knew, but you know, he was settling into some patterns that mm-hmm. were influenced by his environment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then I think now that she has kind of learned, you know, she's got some other skills that it's been a positive influence on her. If that's what you value, right? Like, right. That's like for us culturally and in our family, we value that. So um, some, you know, other families, other people don't, (laughs) It's which is fine, right? Like it's the hardest disconnect that I had though, was um, we knew a family that the husband, the dad was very, well-known businessman and you know was quite had quite a prominent position in a company and did a lot of business lunches a lot of like business meetings was always with clients and absolutely did not pass on a single skill to his child Mm. (laughs) it was it was like it was just like oh my god (laughs) what what you know I just couldn't believe that 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 just was not translated into his parenting, you know. Mm. So anyway, that's just my experience. Mm. <laughs> if I'm like being honest. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of an etiquette class where somebody else would teach your young adult uh-huh. how to do it properly because they don't want to hear yeah. it come from me. Right. Uh, you know, oh, get off your high horse. That's yeah. fine. Well, they don't say that because that's only something 62-year-old ladies say, but still <laughs> they say, you know. That's well, a big deal. And, it's just us. And, so this would be yeah. good. and then they could come home and say to me, mom, don't put your hand on the table that way. Right. Don't pick up your food with your fingers. And then I would tell them. Well, it's just us. My, at the summer my camp kids. that my kids went to, they did have, they had like, if you caught somebody with your with their elbow on the table, there was like a whole song and you start <laughs> singing the song about their elbows were on the table. And then they had to like get up and like oh, do a gosh. lap around the dining room. Like there was a whole thing. So, yeah. so they learned not to put their yeah. elbows on the table. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it, like it has like, I mean, our kids always said, why do we have to learn this? Why is this important? Why do we need to know this? Right. Cause even, you know, they would just, I would just look at them and they would know what they're doing wrong. <laughs> I mean, like, I would just be like, really? And then they'd be like, oh God, okay. But <laughs> they were, you know, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to learn this? So it's just a constant, you know, just that message of like, you're going to need it one day. Right. I hope, I think maybe, maybe you won't. I don't know. Maybe I'll just work at home. I don't know. It won't matter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, anyway. Is there etiquette for eating at your desk while you're working on your computer right. at home? And turn off your like camera. Of food on the ground. <laughs> turn off your camera. <laughs> turn off the mic. <sighs> That's anyway. true. That's important. That is a good piece of etiquette. Don't let other people hear you chomping. Yeah. But, but even like, I, I mean, I even think of etiquette as being even, you know, just stuff like don't talk on your phone super loud when you're in public. Like uh-huh. and that's even etiquette too, right? That's just like, privacy. You want people to know what you're talking about? But it's also just yes rude yeah it is yeah like I mean that stuff is just as important too right Mm -hmm. just I don't know discuss that maybe I'm just like a really uptight (laughs) neurotic (laughs) that sounds like a good note on which to end our podcast (laughs) there we go (laughs) get us out of here Nicole that's that's nicole's little soapbox on <laughs> americans do better <laughs> uh, <laughs> well that's it for today's round three tune in tomorrow when we'll obsess about our kids health care and then on friday to see what we've come up with for our roundabout round of picks this week find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our facebook page or on twitter where you'll find us at roundabout chat 